Welcome to this first video in the second series of videos about HBase and column family databases. Now in the first set of videos, we talked generally about what column family databases are and what HBase is. We connected to an HBase server and we ran some queries at the HBase shell. However, you're going to come to find that the typical way of interacting with HBase is not through the HBase shell, but rather it's through applications that interact with HBase to get data. So that's what we're going to be doing in this series of videos. We're going to write some small programs in JRuby that are going to be able to write data to HBase and then read data back out of HBase. We're also going to look at how to import larger amounts of data in comma separated value files we're also going to talk a bit about HBase architecture and how it's unique in the way that it fits into the larger Hadoop infrastructure. So we're going to have some examples about how HBase is able to scale so massively outward by having dynamic management of its regions. Finally, we're going to compare how HBase performs compared to Postgres on some similar queries and we're going to have some kind of surprising results. So in video 5.1, we're going to be actually writing some JRuby programs to programmatically access our data in HBase. In 5.2, we'll be talking about the HBase architecture and demonstrating some of those features. And then finally, in video 5.3, we're going to talk about another way we can interact with HBase, which is through Hive and Hive query language, which is kind of similar to the structured query language that you probably already know. So let's go ahead and get started.